Yeah, they could. They they'd be tough. Yeah, Wolverine, dude, it just runs. Yeah, that's tough. That's tight as hell. I could be wrong. I think I saw it on Planet Earth. I think Wolverines literally just fucking run all day. I'm a big just mongoose looking. head. I'm mongoose, mongoose head. fucking awesome. Watching mongooses eat a snake is so mongoose, fucking. Mongoose versus cobras, dude. Yeah, it's, it's about as cool as it gets. Yeah, that shit's that shit's tight. That's what I like about honey badgers. They yeah. just they run up. It kill cobras. They get bit by them. They like get knocked out by its poison, but it doesn't hurt them. What the fuck? So they'll just pass out. <laughs> what the fuck, dude? They're fucking wild. They attack like lions. That's so fucking tight. And lions are like, you know how dumb you have to be to be like the dumb animal. Like yeah. honey badgers yeah, are like yeah. morons. Like yeah. even lions are smart enough to be like, get the fuck out of here. What dude. is this? Thing? I'm not eating you. Like I could just. Yeah. <laughs> it's fun. It's it makes me happy. Fun. That is nice. I like thinking of dumb animals. Like, it's I had best. a dog named Shaq. Yep. Might have been one of the dumbest fucking dogs of all time. Really? Yeah, we have a bad track record of animals With in dogs? this house. Tibble. Tibble, dude. His, <laughs> Tibble's a fucking his monster. His filth remains. His, I'm not picking that shit up. That's for Phil. <laughs> You're going to no, leave I mean, that for I, I absolutely have to pick that up. Yeah, you're going to leave that? It makes me feel bad. I put this burden on my family. Tibble. I just dropped Tibble off, and I said, Mom and Dad, i got to follow my dreams of becoming a stand-up artist. Dude, you know what you got to do? I said, I'll never be a Sean Gardini-type superstar. <laughs> Did you ever tell your parents how much of a superstar you are? You're like, Mom, look how many followers I have on Instagram now. <laughs> dude, my, my stomach, dude, I got a vicious, I got a vicious crap. Are you in this up. basement? I'm going to have to go upstairs to my parents' bathroom and Ooh, uncork a vicious shit. That's not bad. <laughs> you should tip <laughs> I was making Phil laugh with that. You should, you should. I was making Phil laugh with that. I was sitting there, I was talking to my girlfriend, I was like, Pardon me, I have to go upstairs and uncork a vicious shit. <laughs> and he was in the kitchen like, <laughs> he was trying so hard. You should like, tell, hey, hey, dude, start Tibble to you on the rug and be like, yo, what the Just fuck? Is you, dude, you if I took the, the, vicious, the vicious crap that's lined up, <laughs> if I dropped that down here, it, like, it, you could smell it on the third floor. <laughs> it would ruin the house. Just wipe your ass with the like carpet. <laughs> It would ruin the house. I mean, that's probably like vomiting in a car. If you human shit in a house, it's going to be human every, shit in any the basement warm day. Of a, in a carpet basement house. Oh, my God. Especially if it's like humid kind of down yeah. here. It's pretty fucking disgusting down here. I apologize. Sorry, it's a good basement. It is a nice basement. It was great when I was a kid, dude. Oh. There was none, none of that shit was there. It was just party time. Yeah, finished here. basement is so it party time. time. It wasn't, fin there was concrete for a long time, that's and that was just though. a pole. Yep. But it was fun. I used to go. I a couple kids hit that pole. We would set up wrestling right here. Couple kids have gone into that pole. Shout out Ian Johnson. I used to do pull ups on the on the metal beam down in my Whoa, basement. Dude, I never did a pull, up edge, my pull ups. Life. We'd skateboard down. We would get like a four we by four. We tried to skateboard right here. Did you really? Yeah, right when Tony Hawk came out, we came down here and they, oh, you know what? There was a car. It was a green, the thinnest carpet possible, and then it was just kind of oh, you had underneath. that stuff. Yeah, you can still skate on that. And we were trying our best to to do a kickflip. <laughs> never even got it. No, not a kickflip, an ollie. We were just trying to jump. What? Yeah, couldn't do it. Damn. We were just too, we were, we were more sports guys. So True, we, yeah. Every once in a while, we'd, as a group, at a sleepover, get gay ideas. Yeah. Be like, maybe we should get into skating. Just skate. try it. Our bodies were just too. True, yeah. We were, we were like, no, nah, we play basketball. You guys football. be on the board like. Yeah. yeah. Break down. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, guys. I mean, this is it. I think we did it. That's it. I think That's we did it pod. again. Doesn't matter how much. You got to get one of those. I do. If you break it, my nephew's I'm not going to break it. For sure, not gonna. Tater's break. gonna be pissed. Dude. I'm not gonna break. I'll get a loop. I had a loop earlier. Tater's coming down. He's gonna be pissed. Loop. Yo, loop. Whoa. Come on now. That was pretty good, Matt. Come on, man. Get a loop over there. Oh, you're gonna free him. I wanted to launch that thing. I know. That's what I'm trying to figure out. Tater's shit sucks. <laughs> it's fucked off, dude. I was, I was trying to make heads or tails of it, man. The tape man's been going to the country club where I was swimming yesterday. Really? It's pretty great. That's awesome. He's the Jackie Robinson of that fucking swimming pool. Really? Yeah, they That's don't know nice. what to make of. <laughs> Tate's just hitting the diving board. Oh, they got Although a diving he's board. Been he's been banned from the water slide. For what? There's a rule: if you can't if you can't swim, you can't use the water slide now. That's he fucked used up. to be able to go down with his swimmies on. That's fucked up. If you up. need if you need swimmies, you can't. So now his sister can. Tate cannot. That's fucked up, man. He yeah, he doesn't take kindly to it. Can you go down with him? I'm not sure. I haven't been there with him yet. I'm excited to get in there. Did you ever put, not, you shouldn't do this with him, obviously, but did you ever put your butt cheeks on a water slide and pull your bathing suit down and go just butt cheek on the water slide? <laughs> Dude, you go so much fucking faster. <laughs> you go so much fucking faster. It's, Dude, it's did night I tell you day. I fell down that fucking slide? Did I tell no. you that? No. I had, uh, in Mississippi on the, on the Burt tour. 
No. I didn't say this? No. We got a fucking giant inflatable <gasps> water slide. Dude, they go high as shit, by the way. so high. I saw one the and other day. To climb up this, like, my feet were soaked. I was just in a pool. Got out. I was like, all right, I'll fucking climb up this thing. At the top, dude, which, by the way, is like vertical. There's just two dude, ropes. I, I just saw one of these the other day. I said, well, how of the- course at the top. Was it like inflatable stairs? They, yeah. Or they at least no, it's hard? inflatable, like, little blocks. Dude. It, it, look, I got to the top. That's when my feet gave out. Yeah, a little. Uh, uh. <laughs> I was hanging with both arms, let go. My foot got caught in the thing. <laughs> I, dude, I felt hard as shit. Yeah, dude. And then I was like, the adrenaline. Otherwise, I would have been hurt. You, fall, you at least fall down I, a slide. No, you I fall fell down the it? steps, dude. Oh, no. I fell down the no. fucking ladder. What? Thank, thank Christ nobody saw. Oh. The adrenaline got me up, though. I was like, that's one of the more embarrassing things I've ever done. Oh, my. That's hot. Dude, no I saw one like, saw. It was like a fucking, like, it, it was, was high like as a fuck, story, dude. dude. It was at crazy. Least, at least. Yeah. It's high as shit. Then I, you know, Dusted myself off and climbed back up there. You got back up there. It's scary as fuck up there. Yeah, dude. It was very scary I up there. I got up there. It was me and Norman, and he was like, I was fucking out of breath, dude. The yeah. thing is hard to get up. Dude. It was scary up I there. I spied one the other day. I said that. I was like, that's crazy how high that fucking inflatable water like it, but I fell down, and if there is drone footage, they might have it. Oh, that'd be terrible. Which could be so fucking funny. Of coming down the thing. Yeah. Did you go? Did you like catch a ledge at all, or like how did you catch yourself? I There's two ropes along the sides. So when my feet went out, I was just literally just straight. Ooh. And then I let go, and I tried to like stop it with my foot, which just went straight up. Oh, no. I mean, it was a bad fall. Oh, my God. It was a crazy looking fall. Would you land? And What'd no you one land saw it. I landed, and I was like, <laughs> no one noticed. What? I can get away with this. Holy shit. Other than Norman. Norman must have heard it. Yeah. Well, that's the only person. <laughs> yeah, but he can't tell anybody. Yeah, true. We're like, hey, Shane fell. What? Yeah, no, you, you need footage. You need Falling f- down. That's a movie. <laughs> Fall. Autumn. <laughs> it's like, all right, dude. <laughs> That's no shade at Norman. Norman's a good boy. Oh, he's a funny boy. He is funny as fuck. All right. I got on Cork and Vicious shit. Yep. I'm going to pee. Probably then gonna down here. I'm going to hit. I'm going to probably hit down. shit down here. You go high. I'll go low. Yeah. I'll go up to my parents' bathroom and my mom, when I'm walking up. Don't go in there. Get out of there. <laughs> I go, shut up, mom. I'm I slam the door. I'm a basement dweller. Yeah. I shit in the basement. Shit in the basement. Dude, now when Maya takes a dump, she makes me, I showed her like, she, her feet don't touch, so I showed her like a squatty potty where I hold her feet up. Every time she dumps down, she goes, hold my feet, hold my feet. I have to lift her feet up. She says, <laughs> it's so fun. Hold my feet, hold my feet. Yes. Kids nice. shitting does rule. Dude, it's crazy. They're not sure what's going on. There's no shame. Dude, they go. Their belly, they, they man, like mechanically push their stomach. Although there's it's shame so when they shit their pants. They don't like that. But yeah. when they're hitting the toilet, they're fucking pumped. It's they're all like, everyone come in and check this, check this shit out, dude. Yeah. And then you go, damn, son, where'd you find this? Yes, sir. All right, that's the end of a podcast. That's Let's a good go. podcast. Goodbye. Thank right. you for listening. Adios. Thank you guys. For coming. Loop to the air, of course. One, two, three, four. That's at least twelve parking tickets. It's a major league swag out. Oh my god, dude. So he had to call the city and be like, I'll be in the city today. Shut down yeah. a square grid of Manhattan so yeah. I can go into this place. And then you see that and you go, these guys don't like collude on anything and have weird shady business. It's like, dude, they <laughs> see called someone and it's like, yo, yeah, yeah. I'm coming. Block all the streets. That's crazy. What What's like the permits for that? If I want to call my mayor and be like, yo, how much would it cost for me to block entirely abroad entirely block broad street that would cost millions and millions of dollars yeah they're going to charge i they think they do that shit for like filming true like they'll shut down a block and i think it costs like a billion dollars jesus christ that's just my knowledge you yeah know? i bet it does cost a lot of money that's why they don't they do it in like different like in philadelphia instead of new york hmm. well there it is that? dude there was that we watched it history we watched history a slice of history boys and gears. guys now let's get down to business. Let's get back down to the brass tacks. Me freaking out in the playground. <laughs> I'll get my dog. That's nice, though. It was, dude, it was a pretty large scale bug. That was the first wave of the bug out. And I was going like, dude, Jesus Christ, get it together. Not to mention, and this is like a kind of a, a weirder thing. But then I started, I didn't realize how much I do this. But like, when I'm out, I'm not sensitive to it unless you're like, it's kind of stoned. You walk by people. I have like almost like a mental reaction to every single pre- person I see. And it was like, I started being like, holy shit, I've like, not even like a social anxiety thing. Like I saw a dude's kid kicking a soccer ball who was like probably like five 
And you know, like kind of like stomp, they didn't kick it far, and I was like, "My kid can kick a ball fast." <laughs> it went through my head. I went, "What the fuck is wrong with you, that's dude?" That's nice though. You're it, proud of your kid. It was. It was kind that's of funny. Sweet. And that's when I started being, and it was like, but I started becoming hyper aware of every reaction I was having to every single person. Why do you? I hate weed. <laughs> dude, I hate weed. It was crazy. God, I was losing it, dude. I got. I saw a like a Puerto Rican couple who were wearing like cool denim jackets. You were like, <laughs> <laughs> I said, "Well, here's the thing. It was not. It was not. I was spinning on every single person I saw." This was a Puerto Rican couple in like cool denim jackets with like cool hairstyles. And there was a part of me that went like, I mean, it must be cool to like be part of like, the, I was calling it the culture in my head of like, you're in, involved in the culture. And I'm like, they have a tiny little slice of it and it's got to be yeah. enjoyable. But I was like, they're, they're, if you get too close to the epicenter of it, you're destroyed. Yeah. When dudes try to take too much of the culture on them, I was telling Brittany this and she was like, don't tell anyone this. He's like, don't say this to anyone. <laughs> I was like, there's dudes who get greedy and they yeah. pig on the culture. And you I'm hit like, the mall wearing the fucking, <laughs> I'm with her or my king, my queen. You've gone too far. Beauty and the, the beast. Mall kiosk, the beauty I'm, and the I'm beast. The beauty, she's the, he's the beast. Yeah. <laughs> You've gone too far. But there's it's a over. part where I think it becomes all, it'll just be completely consuming. I was like yeah. thinking about how they were on like the comfortable like periphery of it. And I'm like, that must be pretty sick. And I started thinking of dudes who try to like completely get to the epicenter of it and like, I rule. And it's like, uh, he was shot in the head in a nightclub. Oh, and, that, yeah. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, There was a guy recently in Chicago that got shot. Did LaMare, did you see this? Have you heard about this? Yeah, this rapper. He returned to the scene of the crime. He, he was in, yeah. He returned to the, he was in the guy he killed's blood. Yeah. Taking pictures with, like, money <laughs> as a phone. Saying, that's what I'm he got shot, like, an hour later. They're like, oh, there he is. <laughs> the ops got him. That's, my whole point was that, like, it does, when dudes try to, like, get, like, you know, like, the cowboy from Westworld is like, I want to get to the game within the game. Yeah. It just becomes all consuming. And like, dude, it's like, I was thinking of that kid too. I, was, I saw the same thing of like, I'm the man, I'm it. And it was just like, just, I'm standing in my enemy's blood with $40,000. And it's like, the whole thing, it, it, and it, I don't want I'm not trying to I sound can't like, talk right now. I'm not trying to sound I'm shitty. Standing in my opponent's blood. But it does become like a perversion at one. It becomes yeah. like crazy. And that, you know, I, I got like real geeked on that. And, it was and all like, the comments on those tweets are like, it's like a game. People oh, think game it's like over, funny. Yeah. Came over like RP. emojis. Bull guy. Yeah. They're like, dude, bull, bull guy, clap back. The quick clap back. <laughs> his, his ops must have been Amazon Prime. They're so fast. <laughs> like, just, yeah, people enjoy it. It was uncomfortable. It was a very, I was like, dude, it was just nothing but a walk, a four block radius of me just going, and then they yeah. see other people and be like, God damn it, why do I react so viscerally to everybody I see? I, yeah, I'm, I'm pretty aggressive towards what, like in the airport, I'm furious <laughs> the entire time, dude. <laughs> I don't move. If someone's walking like a dickhead, I'll hit them. <laughs> I'll shoulder someone's book bag or someone's bag hanging. Like, learn how to fucking walk in the airport. God damn it. That's that's what I was... It makes me so angry. That's what I was tripping on about the level of inner battles you have. I'm furious every time I'm in an airport. And I'm in an airport constantly, dude. Every time I walk through, I'm like, fucking dumbass. Learn how to fucking walk. <laughs> Don't stand on the fucking moving walk. <laughs> Get out of the way if you're gonna stand. Yeah, yeah, it was, it's it not was, a good. It's not a good quality. This is a phase. I'm going through a phase of life where I'm allergic. I get mentally allergic to weed for like stretches of like a couple years, and then it just wears off. Right now, I like tried the babyest amount, and I was fucking spun. Dude. Yeah, fully spun out. I got a weird. I was like walking past. There was a lady with like a ball or something, and I'm like. I, was, my, I let my dog like pee. This is what I do too. I let my dog pee on like a like a little young sapling. And I was like, oh, hopefully the pee doesn't fuck the sapling up. And there's a lady. She like just looked over casually. And I'm like, if that lady says something, I'd be like, yo, shut the fuck up. <laughs> <laughs> and then as I did that, I got intense deja vu. And I was like, did I dream about this? And I was like, yeah. I got to get the fuck out of here, man. I got to go back and stuff. Yo, if she says this, I'd be like, yo, if shut the fuck up. If she says anything, I'm going to go fucking wild. <laughs> It's, really, it's funny too because you're like, I hope I'm not wrong right now. Like you were like, maybe I'm in the wrong. I, if somebody even says anything, I'll go nuts. <laughs> Dude, yeah, I did that for like, I just couldn't stop. And I used to do it way more, and I've been doing it less. Damn. Then I got high and I got in my head, and I was realizing how much I like these thoughts. Like I was like, these might. Dude, not even I maintain eye contact with people at the airport. <laughs> if someone's walking the other way, I'm not looking away until they look away. It's fucking crazy. <laughs> It's so bad. That's, that was what destabilized Fuck. me because I looked at every single person. I'm like, oh, these guys are all just having this psycho. And my my whole, not even epiphany, it was like, oh, this is an inner That's life. Good. I'm having an inner experience. And I was like, so yeah. is everybody else. And everyone's is completely out of control. Yeah. I went, 
<laughs> just walk the dogs. <laughs> you said you make eye contact. I'll make eye contact with dude. If coming this way, if yeah. I'm going this way. <laughs> <laughs> then I'll look back. I'll be like, that guy's probably pissed. <laughs> they never look back. I'm the only one. I'm the only one doing this. It's a fucking psycho move, dude. That's no. not good. This is actually kind of embarrassing to talk it's about. It's kind of really funny. That this was is crazy. <laughs> that was my whole point, though. Everyone does. Like, people are like, and that was my. This is the thing when I was walking up because like then like I think like Spud called me I'm like what's up Spud I'm talking to Spud yeah no problem so I'm like oh this is what happens when like people are left to their own devices like I get nuts dude yeah then you start like stewing in your own juices and it's just like what is that lady thing and if you're talking I'm like yeah the lady this doesn't care bitch <laughs> she's not even looking at you <laughs> it was, dude it was crazy it was insane it was purely mm. fucking insane and I started just thinking of like those dudes are so lucky to be able to take a piece of the culture I was like they look so fucking I wish must I was be so cool full denim outfit. <laughs> then I'm out with a cool hair. No one bats an eye at it. <laughs> Fuck. I know. If I were full denim, people it, people would get out of the way. I mean, this is something's going on here. This is, this is schizophrenic, man. <laughs> it's like the coolest haircut imaginable. Yeah. That would be that would be people would be like, this is dude. Yeah. They just start to be like, this is crazy. Yeah. What is this new phase? Just what billionaire. is this new fad? Who's this young billionaire? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> We were getting we get we ran into some uh, some tough hombres in Salt Lake. Were you there? No, you weren't. Remember at the airport when they carted Kyla? Oh, yeah. Like you can't sit here. It's like, dude, she's obviously she's not fucking twenty. Carted? They carted her at the airport bar, and then we're like, sorry, and she. They were like, your license is expired. We can't. Like you're not allowed to sit that's here. Crazy. And I was like, that's ridiculous. That's crazy. And they're like, do you want me to get my manager? And I was like, yeah, please. And then the manager came out and was like, we need. Valid photo ID. I was like, she just got through TSA. Yeah. With this ID. Can you give her a fucking drink? Or let her at least sit here and not drink? They're like, no. She has to she can't sit at the bar. Yeah, please, please, then, not please not a fat dude with pleated khakis with flour all over them. Please, <laughs> yeah, no, don't yeah. get your manager. But then uh Yeah, yeah. My worst nightmare. <laughs> you want me to get the manager? Yeah. Please. Oh uh, yeah, fucking um, sure. That the only reason I thought of that was there was a cool white guy with a cool haircut. He had a cross shaved into the back of his hair. Fuck. The Mormons out there, the LDS, they love it. Really? Yeah. You can be a cool Christian out there. Yeah. Booze and coffee, don't forget. What? I went to, it was in it was in New York. What? Everybody that worked there had Down syndrome. Nice. That theater fucking rocked. It's the best, dude. They were so pumped. Dude, they fucking to get you the popcorn and then be like, what movie are you going to see? You tell them, they're like, holy shit, it's the fuck. <laughs> holy shit, it's so good. <laughs> yeah, yeah, dude. They're absolute angels, bro. <clears throat> absolute angels. And some of that Skankfest COVID I have. Mm -hmm. I had, I think I had it two weeks ago after my wedding, but my body, you know, I've, re I've recovered from it, I think. I times. actually probably did because really? at Rogie's, I got that antibody test and they said, you've come in contact with it recently. Oh. Nice. My body's like, nah. Yeah, dude, it's hot. I'm telling you, hot bath and eat spicy food, and it goes away. It's, that's my. That's what I do for me personally. I, really? I'm obviously not a doctor. I'm not giving out medical advice. <laughs> yeah, true. Every time that I think I have COVID and I didn't get a test because I didn't feel like it, I would go take a hot bath. And dude, it kills it every time. That I would probably have some benefit, I'm telling right? You, dude, I think <laughs> every time I like feel a little sense. sick, I just scorch. My, I give myself a fever. Yeah. It kills it. Dude. I like grasping for everything other than the vax. <laughs> it's, it's very funny to be like, I think this might work. I do it for yeah. myself. Yo, they're bringing leeches back in. They're bringing leeches back into medical it's technology. About time. I'm telling you, they, they're starting to use leeches again. That shit worked. For what? Blood shit? I don't know, bro. Look it up, bro. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not a fucking doctor, dude. I just well, heard. I'm a fucking doctor. You get I, was your watching, ass beat. I was watching a YouTube video on Ashwagandha, and they talked about how they're using how, leeches again. You need to get some leeches. I might if I need them. I don't have. You, you know, don't feel good. I, what was it? Look up what they're using leeches for now. Um, leeches. Did you ever I, see bloodletting? Of like they just cut like the vein on the side of your head. <laughs> I think it works. <laughs> they just put a bowl here and I think slice if you have, open like, an like infection a or something. They just let. They just like get rid of some of your blood. Bloodletting. You know how Benjamin really? Franklin died? I thought he had pneumonia. And they just. <laughs> okay, dude. Okay. Well, you know, some people have adverse reactions to the vaccine, dude. It's so, a, yeah, true. If you give something to everybody, obviously people are going to have some bad times. Some people reactions. are going to have bad times. <laughs> that must have been a dark move when you accidentally bloodled a little too hard on Big Washington. Some baby turned into a razor. Oh, Big Wash, dude. 
Oh shit! Oh shit! shit, 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 shit this one's deep. You're looking at you're looking at the diagram. Like arteries are new. You're like, was that one of the big ones? Fuck! Fuck! That was a huge one. That was dude. one of the big ones. He's dude. dying of pneumonia. <laughs> He's like, just... which one part of the body are ghosts in? You're like, I think their stomach. Yeah. Uh, just cut their arm. <laughs> <laughs> Benjamin Franklin died. They thought because he uh, he would breathe in. He was a firm believer of getting fresh air every single day. So he'd open his window no matter what time of year it was and sit and just breathe in like air, especially in the wintertime. And he developed an abscess in his lung just from sitting in front of the cold air. And just, <laughs> you fucking died. <laughs> That's always So fun, they though. say. So they say. Yeah. What do they say? They it, use? Look, it looks like leeches can cure anything according to Google. It says, Bro, I'm telling you. They're bringing them back. They, the people, it says nervous system abnormalities, dental problems, skin diseases. It could help save limbs in plastic surgery uh, incidents, like bad plastic surgeries. Mm -hmm. It could help hemorrhoids. What? Whoa. Now we're talking. I know. Oh, I would love to stu put one of those things up my ass and have a bunch of <laughs> hemorrhoids, bro. Suck a hemorrhoid right out of you. Dude, did you ever? This happened to me oh recently. God. Who wrote that? The American Medical Association, NIH, probably. probably Pet Smart. <laughs> <laughs> Pet Smart was like, we got a lot of leeches. <laughs> we got to sell these things. We got to get rid of these. That is, from, that is from the Royal College of Surgeons of England. That's. Yeah, from the UK. That's good stuff. Mm. That's good stuff. Dude, I had I had some, like, you know when you have light hemis? When like, was it written? Fucking 1308? <laughs> what no, the I'm fuck? You, Old research. I'm telling you, I brought in. I was watching a video on ashwagandha, which I take right now. It's Indian ginseng. It's you know miracle worker. And you look it, good. You look glowing. Thank you, bro. Yeah. Low, it lowers your cortisol. The um, oh, it increases your T too. Which is, What's cortisol? It's like stress. It's like a stress hormone you release. Mm. Yeah, dude. It's <laughs> ashwagandha is the shit. Yeah, you posted that on your Instagram story about like stress destroying your brain and i was dude. like i don't remember the last year <laughs> like <laughs> i don't remember the last two years burns up the hippocampus it yeah, really dude, does it, it there was i was reading a study it scared me it was saying it's like stress neg experiencing negative emotions it's like pouring hydrochloric acid on your brain and you know and obviously not as extreme but it just like those yeah. axons and dendrites just start to just unravel mm. your brain just starts to just melt it's like well fucking this sucks yeah brain's like let's try to not think just starts to melt. FIFA. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> People are like, Shade, you gotta be like watch it. This is you're on TMZ. It's like, <laughs> what? <laughs> Man, you, I'm down three two right now. <laughs> That's a problem. This is a problem. <laughs> I'm fine. Dude. I'm telling you, it's the worst. Yeah. Having problems stinks. Problems suck. So you try ass. to figure them out and you're like, I have a ton of food. I'm not ever really all that cold. Like, are they fake? And you go, oh, fuck, I can't figure them out. Yeah, you can't figure out your problems. Fake. That's why you need to be a fucking greeter. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. If those problems go right out the door, you sneak some raisinets. Yep. You're fucking <laughs> pocketing raisinets. There goes all your problems. Like, oh, you're going to see Space Jam? Fuck, I wish I was in there with you. <laughs> it's going to be awesome. <laughs> yeah, your manager's like, pretty slow get in there and check some movies out and you're like oh dude. fucking yeah. oh man i yeah. wish i was a manager that got to be like dude it's slow get in there dude. get the space jam rolling yeah just a dude <laughs> comes into your theaters like ah <laughs> it must be tough though you pick up another wave and you're like psst, yo, psst. Oh, you know with a flashlight take away they're like <laughs> <laughs> try to hide <laughs> psst. Yo, there was a yeah. popcorn line as long as hell. <laughs> <laughs> They'd be stoked on that though too. They'd be like, "Dude, you get True. to do a scooping." They'd be like, "Yes." True, dude. Stay keeps getting fucking better. There's lunes. <laughs> 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 oh man, fuck, dude. I forgot what the hell I was going to talk about. We're talking about leeches. We're talking about problems. Problems. Talk about ashwagandha. I fucking it's out of my head. It's gone. That's all right. Too stressed, dude. Guard dog. Good do good job on the roast. You helped me out. Thanks, man. Good you job wrote some for good you. jokes, dude. It's my pleasure. That was very, very funny. It was, yeah, it was a lot of fun. I liked reading jokes that were written, like hacky. <laughs> yeah, you yeah, know yeah. what I mean? Oh yeah. I like I, my favorite part of the roast was just saying something mean. God, that yeah, was that, so was <laughs> that was the best part. That was definitely really well, lost. Especially some steam, out of though. a tone of concern. No, that was very. Yeah. That was that was very funny. All right, good. To say something in a tone of concern and just go, and that's sad, <laughs> <laughs> and then just. Next, the roast oh. was fun. It was a lot. I handled it a lot better than I thought I would. 
Yeah, it was, dude, it was funny. I thought I was going to be fuming, dude. You thought so? I thought I was going to be fuming. Yeah, no, everything Everybody was, was nice. Yeah, yeah no one was really was that nice. nasty, were no. they? It was, and there were fun. Everything was funny too. Yeah. Like anything I heard was like, "That's hilarious." Dude, there was no naked roast. The naked roast. God, was, dude, when it's tough not to funny. Watch. It's bad. I was first one out. And evil. Fair. Were you? I should have followed. That, that was crazy, dude. Did I stay after? <laughs> you left shortly after. You left right after. Yeah, I, I was just to be fair. I was tired. I was just tired. Well, because that was hard to, to watch. To be fair, my legs were sore. <laughs> my legs <laughs> yeah. got so sore that first That's day. That's a lot of walking. Oh my god. Yeah. I was standing there. My legs were so sore. And I was like, I gotta go home. Yeah. Yeah. I was like, oh, this shit's fucking weird, dude. I don't want to get dicks anymore. <laughs> you guys are gay. I gotta my feet go. Actually, hurt. <laughs> I was like, my legs are. I just sing him a song <laughs> like a good old boy. I hope he gets pussies playing what is guitar. He in there? That's uh, it's a subway, dude. Let's get a nice hobie. subway, just like Jared. If he keeps eating those, he can get skinny <laughs> like gonna, Jared and fuck. Now children. he's gonna get some pussy. <laughs> he can be a kid fucking president <laughs> yeah. murdering guitarist. This guy's not done. He's got his, his brand. He's still building his brand. He's got a shot. I mean, he looks young and healthy. It's funny to be fat and be like, I'm trying to get pussy. I so you know the story about him the gym. that he <laughs> had, there's the, these are the legends. He had uh, dinner at George Bush's house, uh, apparently like a couple of weeks before he shot the president. No. Look up John Hinckley and the Bush family. Their families were linked. The Hinckleys, I think, gave money to the Bushes or something like that. But apparently, Hinckley was a guest in a Bush house an alarmingly short amount of time uh, before he shot President Reagan. And a very interesting thing about it is that George Bush was where when he was when Reagan was shot. Do you know where George Bush was when Reagan was, was shot? In Texas. He was in Texas. This is thing about Wasn't Texas. Wasn't he in Dallas when Kennedy was, got it, shot? That's what folks say. And he was at like Texas is this place to like, like it. It feels like he was your, skull, he was skull and bones. But oh yeah, skull and bones, very big. George Bush, and we'll get to him. But George Bush uh, was a power nerd, and he was a guy who really hated the Reagan. Sh- the shooter's father, John Hinckley Senior, was friends. With George H. W. Bush, yes. So he's like uh, regular, your, regular ha- contributors to the Bush campaign. Yes. How's your son? How's your How's your boy, John? Oh, I got to tell you, kind he's troubled. Loser. He's troubled. Troubled is he? <laughs> yeah, I don't know what's going on with him. Maybe I should have a talk with him. He's like, hey, you want to fuck Jody Foster? No, he's like, so tell me what's going on. I'm just really into uh, just really into uh, I'm just really into Jody. Um, I'm just really in love with Jody Foster. I know that's weird. I'm in love with Jody Foster. Well, you know, son, you can't just sit on your on your keister. <laughs> you got to do something. I mean, what could you do to get her? You know, well, how should I get? I wrote her letters. I wrote hundreds of letters. Ah, uh, girl like that, she's famous. You got to do something, everybody, for everyone to see. Yeah, I'll tell you who she hates. Do something that's gonna make everybody see. I, I just mean, talked to Jody. You know yeah. who she really hates? She. <laughs> I mean, if you were to do something to, you know what they say? Now was was <laughs> was uh, was Lennon dead yet? Lennon was 1980. He was yeah, shot in December 8th. And when was Kennedy? Well, I mean, Kennedy. When was Reagan shot? When was Lennon shot? Important dates. Reagan was shot in 81. So Reagan after. was shot in 81. So right after um, fucking Chapman, David Chapman killed uh, Lennon. Yeah. And he said, the Beatles changed the world and I changed the Beatles. You know what that you know that Chapman fellow said? I read this in Rolling Stone magazine. He said, the Beatles changed the world, and gosh, they sure did. And I changed the Beatles. That's what he said. So I don't know. I mean, a fella could find someone yeah. who's really changed in the world. I don't know. I mean, anyone, you know, Stevie Wonder, Ronald Reagan. And uh, <laughs> Ronald Reagan. <clears throat> Ronald Reagan. And maybe take, you know, have an effect on his life. I mean, what do you, you know? Anyway, so yeah, so so Hinckley was like, I don't know why you're talk, talking about talking about that, but uh, I I know what you're saying. And so then he <laughs> went to his bedroom and he looked in the drawer and he found a gun. He's like, "Where's this gun come from?" I left something for you. <laughs> I left you a little something. <laughs> you know, you have to do something. Yeah. So if you're the vice president and you you have anything to do with the president being shot, you need to be in Texas because if if there's any sort of like 
we're, we have word that vice president, whatever. And then the governor of Texas is like, we're not extraditing. I'm like, it's the one place he might be able to hole up and maybe even stage a coup from. He's like, no, we're, we're the Republic of Texas now. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Like it, it could work. So Bush is in Texas and he refuses to come to Washington. It was a big deal because he just should have taken and taken over. But he refuses to come to Washington. He's like, I'm not going. I'm not going to show up in the White House while the Gipper's fighting for his life. He yeah. made big statements about it. But he stayed away. He stayed. And it got really chaotic, as we all know. There's a great movie. How long was Reagan out? Um, a, I think a few days. But Nancy. So there's a, an amazing movie made by, by HBO called The Day the President Was Shot. Richard Crenna plays Reagan. And Richard Dreyfus plays Alexander Haig. And it's like a comedy in a way. But anyway, um, when Nixon was in the in the uh, I mean, when Re Reagan, you know, Reagan, they drove him to George. He, there's a hospital that's for the president. First of all, the, the cottage, the White House, they have a emergency room. They have everything there. But he was bleeding. He was spitting blood. <laughs> So, uh, <laughs> and he, yeah, Hinkley. Hinkley got him. he got him. He fucking shot him in the armpit. <laughs> Presence of the limo. Shot him. And then he, and then he thought his bodyguard jumped on him. And then he said, I think you broke my rib. He, that's what he thought happened. He said, I, I think you broke my rib. So they, so they, they were going to go back to the White House to get him looked at. But then, uh, then he started spitting lots of blood. And so they went straight to George Washington Hospital, which was just a, a fucking homeless people out front. And the fucking limousine by itself just screeches up. And they brought a gurney, but the president said, I'm not going in on my back. You're not doing that. What? To me. It's true. And he walked in. Like, yeah, yeah. And this great, this, <laughs> there's a move, this movie, the best part is showing him. Hello. Walking by and you see this black guy go like, oh, shit. <laughs> like, oh, shit. Like just 80s black guys who are in front of a hospital like their wife's fucking having a baby. And they're smoking. And this the, that's the fucking president. And he's like, hello. And then he as soon as he got as soon as he got inside. Hey, he, fellas, how he, are yes, he crumbled and uh, they got him on the. Uh, on the gurney and they're going and he he came to at one moment because the nurse was holding his hand and he said does nancy know about you and me and then uh right before he went on a charming devil yes the the doctors right before anesthesia they said mr because they had to tell him he was the head of the fucking world and there was no he was in charge and they didn't know do we do we he's going under anesthesia and they said mr president we're going to put you under we have to get this bullet out of you and it was an exploding bullet. <laughs> so the doctors were all in danger. Hinkley. Hinkley. He was an exploding beast. bullet. What? And it was next to his heart. It was like leaning yeah. against his heart like this, the bullet. <laughs> and so the doctors said, we got to get this bullet out of you, so I'm going to put you under now. And he said, I hope that you guys are Republicans. And the doctor, who was not a Republican, said, Mr. President, today we're all Republicans. And he saved his life. But he was extremely, I mean, he was on death's door for mm. a few days. Now, the White House has Alexander Haig saying, I'm, I'm in charge here at the White House. I'm, I'm, he was the Secretary of State. He had yeah. no business saying that. He was like, by the, he made up this thing, by the success, laws of succession, I would be next. It's like, no, no, you're like 20th yeah. down. And meanwhile, at though at the hospital nancy's there with the chief of staff and there was a battle between the white house and the guys at the hospital so they needed to prove that reagan was functioning as a president so they needed a photograph and they needed him to do a piece of business so they had a, a the dairy bill some bill that's like for dairy subsidies that needed to be signed jackpot for those guys yes so they, they're like <laughs> Oh, we did it, Hinkley. <laughs> Hinkley, baby, I love you. <laughs> Hinkley! That's what it was. It was the milk people. The milk people. The milk people did the whole Big thing. Big milk, dude. For another 15 cents on a fucking <laughs> carton of milk. So Nancy got enlisted, and they said, you need to do this. And you need to handle them like you handled them in the movies. And so she put makeup on his face and she like slaps, Ronnie, you gotta wake up. And they have, and they leaned his bed up like this. And she just kept trying to wake him up. And this is all in the movie done very well, but it's true. 
And they took a picture of him like, duh, there's this picture <laughs> of him. Like a really weird picture that I think did more harm than good. And then he signed, he signed uh, he the He looks dairy great. Bill. Yeah, <laughs> he signed the dairy bill. It's a great picture. One great picture is very rare to find of Reagan. He had like, he had many operations. He was a very sick and dying old man. Yeah. He had some brain, like something taken off his brain or something. So he had had his half of his head was shaved. And at one, and he was coming out of the airplane and he had a baseball cap on and he went like, like this. Oh, no. And Nancy's going, don't. <laughs> like, oh, she's like no. horrified. And he, cause he thought it was <laughs> funny. Half his head is shaved. It's creepy. <laughs> I, I, I saw that picture once. I never saw it again. Uh, so anyway, Reagan survived, obviously. And then that just was a massive lift. Yeah. I, I was a kid. My mother hated Reagan. And I was just like, yeah, good, you know, good for you. You know, everybody was happy for him. Yeah, there it is. There it is. <laughs> oh, my God. Yeah, she's, <laughs> she's really mad. <laughs> yes. Uh, so Reagan. I ran the guy rocket. I ran Contra happens. They were uh, using, there were still some hostages in Iran, and they were offering the Iranians weapons in exchange for hostages and money. And then they were going to use the money to uh, fund the Contras and um, in El Salvador. Yeah. And it was all done by this guy, Oliver north north yeah uh, colonel oliver north it was reagan it was dirty it was a dirty reagan thing and reagan said i take responsibility for it because i'm not sure what i remember that i was told about this and we're looking into it but make no mistake it's my responsibility very nobody does that anymore yeah so he did that and that kind of got him through it and it made people believe that he was really looking into it and then they pinned it all on this guy who I remember his hearings was a big it was the biggest deal since since Watergate. I ran Contragate. That's what they it was the first thing that they gate that they said gate about. And um Oliver North was he said a I dumb they, thing to have gate. He said somebody ever. pitched the somebody pitched this idea to me of the missiles and then yeah. the many and he said I thought it was a neat idea. <laughs> and when everybody heard him say that they it became plausible that this fucking dummy did. He just was stupid and crazy yeah. and that he did it. He later ran for governor of Virginia as a Republican. Might be West Virginia, I'm sorry. But Chuck Todd, who was the that lieutenant that sent the tape to Yeah. Lyndon Johnson's son in law, who was thought to be the next great he was supposed to be the next Kennedy, but he had a bad Coke habit. <sighs> but but he was cool enough to be a senator. He was senator from I think West Virginia for years and he just didn't care anymore. So there's another great documentary about called The Perfect Candidate and it's a really great um it's a documentary about him running against Oliver North. Decided after all this shit had happened he's going to run and it teaches you something about presidential politics. That's why I'm bringing it up. So Chuck Todd was a Democrat. He's like one of these guys you have now, you know, just a machine Democrat. Like there's a scene in the documentary where a reporter asks him, what do you think of uh, furlough programs in prisons? And he goes, what? I don't, I didn't, I didn't make a, I didn't say anything about, I haven't said anything about that. <laughs> and he goes, well, what, what do you think about it? He goes, I've never, I haven't changed, I haven't changed my position on, uh, I'm, 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 I have a good, very good record on crime. And he goes, I'm just asking your opinion. Yeah. And he goes, well, I, 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 I appreciate the work that everybody has, has done. And he walks away. <laughs> And the guy's like, I can't even get an opinion out of this guy. That's who's running, right? He's a tool. Yeah. And he's the Democrat. And then Oliver North, he announces his candidacy in a ch black church, all black ladies. And he's this notorious guy. Mm -hmm. And he says, he says, I've made terrible, terrible mistakes in my life. And you don't hear the him. black women, oh, yeah, <laughs> don't forgive him. Oh. And he goes, and I'm a bad man. I've been a bad man. But there's one thing I love, and that's the people of West Virginia. And he starts crying. Oh, and my God. Just, and they just <laughs> love him. They love him. And he's winning the fucking, he's going to be a senator. Yeah. It's a big deal. And then right at the end of the documentary, Clinton.
moves him yeah. down the court like a baby. Just yeah, dude. Oh my god, <laughs> dude. I showed you. You see like, Carl Malone? How jacked Carl Malone was? I've showed you like six times, dude. It's so funny. Carl Malone. Carl Malone. Carl Malone. Yeah, yeah. He was jacked? so strong. Dude. <laughs> <laughs> it's terrifying. He was huge, dude. Yeah, man. I was sharp, sharp is fucking a unit, though, dude. dude. Yeah, yeah. dude. dude. God damn, dude. Yeah. Carl is like man. comically jacked. <laughs> big this fucking guy. Yeah, dude. Yeah. Yeah, that's yeah dude. Especially if you have He's, arms that long, it's crazy. Like seven feet tall. Like that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Love me some mailman, dude. Dude, that's, what that's you, a man. I, mean, you know, this, oh, yeah. I shouldn't share this with you, but <laughs> my mom definitely wanted to fuck him. <laughs> she would always be like, I love the Utah Jazz. I, love the <laughs> I was like, you want to fuck Carmel up? Dude, if Jonas I was on the edge of a bed, he could grab my hips and pull me all the oh. way down. You know, like, it was like, like, a, like a ghost at the end of a horror movie yeah. trailer. <laughs> <laughs> Pulling you under the sheets. Carl, no. <laughs> Come here. No, Carl, don't take me. <laughs> Whatever happened with Jimmy Kimmel doing the Carl Malone Nothing. Face? Nothing no repercussions. <laughs> no repercussions. Put it in front of the camera, dude. Single fucking Give the people thing, a little dude. reminder. It's not a single That's fucking That's Jimmy thing. Kimmel. <laughs> oh, no, another thing Trump did. Whoa, 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 whoa. I was like, dude, you did blackface for a year, dude. So, <laughs> shut up. This guy's a racist. <laughs> dude, Have you seen also, this? Have you heard of this? He also buried the man show. He buried it. Yeah. He's the one who wanted to leave first. He right? owns it. He buried it, dude. Oh, he bought the rights he to it. Owned, then... He buried oh, it. Oh, he dude. just fucking destroyed the he man. Buried show? it. What yeah. he didn't like women jumping on trampolines <laughs> at the very end of it. I don't think he wanted it to get out. I don't think he wants people to find out about the that his was the daunting man past. Show, dude, that show was the best, dude. It was the man, man show, show fucking was, yo, rules. The, like, the girl jumping rule. on trampolines, you try to fire one off as fast as possible. <laughs> <laughs> I got a whole minute. Yeah. Ooh, ooh, ooh. <laughs> I never did that. He never That's did incredible. that. Never, never, no, never, I swear to God, I never went. He never come or jacked off. Yeah, yeah. What? <laughs> you never come to the jumping on bounce? I never, never jacked I, off? I probably, I probably started. Got, I was more of a music video guy. I'm not going to deny it. Definitely <laughs> yeah. jarred some loose. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, you get but, the man show and then the Girls Gone Wild commercial. <laughs> Girls Gone Wild commercial was, that was great. Insanity. Yeah, that was the red light blinking. Yeah, Rogan was on the man show. He hosted it. Him and Sam Hope did yeah. like six episodes. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> they had to shut it down, I think. <laughs> shut her down. So he buried it. He fucking. Dude, he's burying it for sure. You can't find clips. Him. It's like hard really? to find. I tried to YouTube it the other day. That's the power of probably ABC or whoever he's yeah. on. Yeah, look, James. We're gonna have to bury this. Dude, <laughs> this is what this is the topic. I've I've showed it to all of you. I love it very much. I haven't stopped laughing about it. Oh yes. There's this woman on hoarders named <laughs> Shanna. <laughs> she was hoarding her poop, <laughs> D- jugs of shit. I was just gonna ask and what piss was this? throughout the house. Yeah. yeah. A decade's worth of shit and piss. She's um good girl, dude. She's the ultimate um good girl. <laughs> she is an um good girl. She's very sweet the whole time. <laughs> but she also, her and her mom used to shit in a bucket in the house. Okay. Her mom obviously perished. Yeah. You can't shit in a house. You'll get all types of diseases. Yeah. Did they ever, but, say, what, did they ever say what killed her mom in the episode or no? They, they claimed she- cancer, but. I mean, it had to be just cancer. insane diseases. That, yeah. that, like, cancer. I'm sorry, like I could bring in the cancer. plague back. You can't. You can't live around your turds. You got to flush uh, them. Bye-bye. Dude, we watched it before you got. Dude, we watched this. What you said? You can't live around your turds. You gotta flush them. Bye bye. You have to say goodbye. Do you ever say goodbye to them? Oh, you have a kid. I have a kid. Yeah, yeah. Carly, say goodbye to your turds. She's like, bye bye. That's not gonna be an imprint. She's not gonna be an adult. Just like, bye. I hate goodbyes. <laughs> <laughs> You're gonna get caught, dude. It's gonna be like the jinx. Someone's gonna hit you. Like, of course, I'm saying goodbye. <laughs> I always say goodbye. Uh, you will return. The there's that scene we were watching, dude. Her obviously her whole house is trash. Everything's oh. trash. There's drugs of shit and piss everywhere. Yeah, she, you, you don't hear she, it like it is when you see it though. Seeing it today, seeing it is unbelievable really it's truly unbelievable five gallon buckets or what are we talking big ass five like, gallon like the but that gets too heavy oh, so then yeah, she comes in and scoops it with a mug into a <laughs> s- smaller bucket pours it in carries it almost falls throughout her house with shit and trash everywhere <laughs> throws it in the yard <laughs> comes back inside lays on garbage puts she, her microwave is broken obviously <laughs> or she has one toaster oven she has paper plates and cups and bowl. she has a paper bowl. She scoops progresso clam chowder 
into a paper bowl puts it in a toaster oven for 20 what? minutes obviously it starts to catch fire <laughs> <laughs> the, guy, the guy filming's like it's it actually smells like something's burning she's like oh yeah they burn that's all right <laughs> takes it out eats clam chowder progresso soup oh, no. in a room filled with shit <laughs> shit everywhere she looks at the camera guy and is like <laughs> Honestly, would you say that I'm a hoarder? <laughs> and the guy's like, yeah, absolutely. And she's like, but this can't be the worst one you've ever seen. And they're like, this is by far the worst thing we've, we've ever seen. And then she's like, they're like, do you know what the smell is in this house? And she was like, you know, my sister was here and she mentioned something smelling. I think it's, I think it's the mold and dust in here. It's a real musty smell. Oh. He's like, it's not the mold and the dust. It's the feces and urine everywhere. She's like... She is looks, that what it is? Oh. He's like, yeah, that's what it is. And she's how do you even stay like, in there? She's like, oh, so we agree, it's musty though. <laughs> like, <laughs> she's, she's so good at arguing for some. Like she still has a little left in the tank mentally. <laughs> right. So anyway, I got to just get the, this. Is the best part. This has been making me laugh. And I tried it on stage, and the whole room got very upset. Why? Because I explained what the show was of a lady living in her own shit. Yeah, hilarious. Nobody thought it was funny. Uh <laughs> but she's going through all piles of trash and finding old groceries and shit. And they're covered in mold, obviously. Mm. And they're like, you can't eat that. She's like, I'm going to pick the mold off. Of it. <laughs> <laughs> like she, and then she's got another thing. They're oh like, it's totally ruined. She's like, yeah, I don't have a freezer. Like she <laughs> has like an excuse. Like you're a dumbass the whole time. <laughs> and then at the very end, the very end, they're like, all right, we got to, there's contaminated food in there. Everything's ruined. We got to, we got to go in there and throw everything out. And she goes, I'm going to go ahead back in there and eat some of that contaminated food. <laughs> and then the party's over. <laughs> Everybody on intervention needs to get high one more night. I'm going in there and I, I start tomorrow. <laughs> they're like, why would it be a party? Why is eating contaminated food a party? <laughs> What's it fucking matter? I've been in there eating poo for 12 years. <laughs> it's unbelievable. It She's matter? exactly right. <laughs> she said that. She said exactly that. Yeah, what's it fucking Everything I said was I've verbatim. I've been dude. eating poo. She goes, I've been in there eating poo for 12 years. <laughs> and the guy goes like this. The guy, she's talking to him. She goes, what's the fucking matter? And he goes, he looks at her and she goes, I've been eating poo for 12 years. And he goes, oh. <laughs> he's so defeated. And they're, play, they're playing like suspenseful dude, TV music. Yeah. Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> <laughs> I, I'm going to go ahead and eat some of the contaminated food and then the party's over. Because I have I to get it. That. Because when somebody goes on intervention, they want to get high one last time. The party ends for me tomorrow. How is eating contaminated food a party? I'm. Why the f does it matter? I've been eating poop for 12 years. Then, I didn't show you the end. The end is so funny. She's standing. She's standing. She's standing there. Dude, the way she stands, on, she stands like with a tilt. Like, like it's the craziest state. Like just one arm. Out. Why is she standing like that? Carrying a bucket I, she's of poop. She's nuts. Oh. So then at the end, they're like, "All right, well, they bulldoze her house and then take her to a mental hospital." <laughs> <laughs> It's the worst, it's the worst <laughs> order ever. Oh, my God. <laughs> it was a, they, they, burn. They, they, did, they, they couldn't burn it because yeah, they, yeah, yeah. It, was a, it was a biohazard. It became oh. a... Uh, Spit take for the record. Animals. <laughs> I spit on my sweatshirt. Yeah. I spit on my sweatshirt. <laughs> Tim, what's your, you said foxes pretty quick. Yeah, I like foxes. I like owls as well. You want to know a shitty Ooh. one that I liked when I was a kid? I like penguins were my number one for a while. Mm. Okay. That's in hindsight not that great. Really, Tim I grew, used to I grew catch out ladies. Of penguins. Tim used to catch ladies cheating on Club Penguin. When I was an IT guy, oh god, and I'd be fixing people's computers. Oh. I'd basically be showing up at your office unannounced because your boss scheduled me to come fix your computer, and I'd have to say, hey, "Could you move aside real quick? I gotta fix this." Oh, and I sat down on a, like a like a poodle haired secretary's computer, and I interrupted a conversation she was having with uh, she was having an affair over the online game Club Penguin. Wow. Yeah. Was it hot? Absolutely not. <laughs> yeah, imagine imagine really a man dark. who's willingly talking to another person over Club Penguin. <sighs> she probably had him convinced she was a child. Oh. And they're just talking about how like oh. you know, we're not appreciated. Let's get away together. Are penguins sexual animals? 
Yeah, they're monogamous. They're romantic. They're, like, yeah. monogamous. they're monogamous for oh. which I mean, <laughs> ironic much. <huh? laughs> <laughs> Awkward. Yeah. North Pole or opposites. <laughs> John, tell Mike to shut the fuck up. Uh, <laughs> Mike, penguins are only at the South Pole. <laughs> God damn it. That's true. Damn. Damn, mm. that's where the wigger codes come from? <laughs> the penguins? <laughs> wow, damn. <laughs> what the hell's up at the North Pole? Polar bears? Polar Nothing. Bears. But polar, polar bears and bears, penguins Santa float Claus, around on ice. Elves. Never to meet. It's really Great. South Pole's polar or South Pole's penguins, North yeah. Pole's polar bears. Yeah. Why don't they mix? It's a long walk, and you gotta go through. The- <laughs> <laughs> but I'm saying, like, yeah. what happened there? The penguins beat the polar bears down south, but the in the north, the polar bears reign supreme. Yes, <laughs> dang. <laughs> the penguins did you know? All, did you know all the no, they didn't fight down there? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the you know all the continents used to be connected at one point. <laughs> yeah, yo. Did you ever hear about Pangea? What, dude? Pangea was fucking nuts, dude. Yeah, I'm more of a Pangea. I'm built for Pangea. Just one humongous <laughs> landmass. Dinos, me running at top speed all day, every day. How fast, dude? Dude, as fast as humanly fucking Top talk. speed. Top speed. You can hit 20. <laughs> Breakneck speed. 20? You can hit 20. I'll say 13 MPH. You think I can hit 20 miles per hour? You, no, I don't. 20 is very fast. 20 is fast as shit. Yeah, I'm going to say 13 MPH. But if we're talking Pangea time. Uh, yeah, back in the day, if you were shape. used to fucking sprinting constantly. Way better shape. Matt, are you flying with the red breasted robins when you do this? No, they can't. They, so right now, the separation. They might be looking over me. Uh-huh. The separation of continents is the only thing keeping you from sprinting constantly. Yeah, <laughs> literally. <laughs> the, 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 the second you found out world. about the ocean, you were like, "I'm not. I'm, dude, I gotta dude, walk." If I fully yeah. unleash it, I'd be, the coast, I'd be the coast in no time, and I'd be like, "Ah, oh, man, I can't run in this fucking water." <laughs> That's where coasting comes from. <laughs> <laughs> I was thinking about that today. Just when you were little and you just ran as fast as you oh, could with so no sick. regard. God, yeah. That shit fucking ruled. I get dude. new sneakers and run in the basement. Dude, I'd be just like, dude, I can jump so high. your head into something dude, really hard. These new Jerry Stackhouse sneakers. <laughs> I can jump so high. These new feelers are so sick. Did you get good sneakers? No, that was the one pair I ever got. Yeah. Stackhouse's. One pair I ever got. I got Jerry Stackhouse. Probably because they were Fila and probably cheap. Mm. I had the Shacks, man. They were hell. My, my dad feet. would never. Yeah, dude. That motherfucker. <laughs> now look at you. Now look at me. Triple the digit. nicest sneakers. You're wearing Dude, the fucking one. air down syndromes. <laughs> <laughs> That's not even that funny. No one here laughed that much. <laughs> Matt, did you ever fuck with soaps? <laughs> I wish. No, I never, got never had soaps. I never got it. Shane, did you ever fuck with soaps? Probably not. What, soap in the mouth? No, the shoes. <laughs> soaps? <laughs> Yeah, listen yeah. to him. Christy fucked with soap in the mouth. Yeah, I got soap dude, in the mouth a couple of times. I he's going to yeah, ding dong your bird if you don't knock he's that shit off. Really <laughs> before he gets to my bird, brother. So up to the Give North Pole. Yank. I'm going to hurt my hand on his bird, dude. I'm going to get perks. Grab the head of his penis and yank it. One, ring the bell one time. Yank the bell once. A hunchback of Notre Dame, um, dude. I give you a lot of credit. Every time I see you, I try to ball tap you, and you always defend it pretty I've, well. I grew really? up around. I grew up yeah. around very, he's a Highlander with ball tapping. I room. grew up around ball tapping and panting at a high yeah. level. <laughs> Jim's these types of pants. He's a Dagestani wrestler, ball house. <laughs> like, if somebody if somebody walks by me closely, uh, You're every time. Yeah, it's motherfuckers from Fagistan. Because I do it when I walk. It's not Fagistan, dude. <laughs> <laughs> Good luck invading it, dude. Yeah. <laughs> no one's ever been here. Your mom grenade off. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> <Your> mom- <laughs> Um, but yes, it was constant ball tapping. Send me your dad's location. I, I do it to this day. If I walk past somebody, I I don't tap anymore. But I got a couple. When's it? How how far into like meeting someone do you touch their genitals without them wanting to? It depends on the guy, but usually pretty early. That's nice. African Americans, you hold off. Yeah, you wait. You wait. <laughs> Fool me once, shame on like you. Do shit. <laughs> yeah, a black ball tap is like a punch in the face, dude. I've said it before. I ball tapped Courtney. Oh, I remember At, that. Holy shit, dude. No hesitation. He punched me in the balls. And oh, I didn't ball tap him. I did the fucking, you see where the horse bit me. And you fucking. I went like that. I went. <laughs> <laughs> I went you see where the horse bit me? And he looked. And I went. <laughs> and dude, I went, just, he was like. Oh! <laughs> he drilled me in the balls, dude. Oh, what the fuck? Brought me down. Damn. And I, I got red face like this is a fight. And then I like in my mind, I was like, he's right. <laughs> Like, yeah. I had to talk myself out of it. You gave him the octopus. I was like, dude, I just touched his balls. <laughs> I never heard. Did you make that up? The horse biting? 
Yeah, my no, I didn't. My father made he did it to me. Oh no, Shane, I'm so sorry, dude. <laughs> I was I was ordering ice cream <laughs> at Davis's ice cream, and my dad came up, and the girl was my age. She was a high school girl. <laughs> And she was cute. And Phil came up and goes, did you see where the horse bit me? Between me and her at the register. <laughs> Boom! <laughs> I was like, God! Dude. dude, you got molested again. Ice cream. It's the most fucked up thing yeah, I've ever that's heard. That's usually, you know, chicken, you know, Woo. what came first, the chicken oh, or the egg. Oh my God. I got molested during ice cream. Damn. Damn, he turned you into a Dairy Queen. <laughs> He got me. Now He's I can't. To Phil. Now I can't stop doing it. <laughs> David Damn. Copperfield. That's yeah. so fun. That is a funny. It's a fun thing. It's very fun, and you can do it to people that just if they're black, watch out. True. Yeah. They don't like Be it. Sense. That's being aware. Yeah. That's off limits. Yeah. If you're doing Be like culturally aware. Yeah. If you're doing like some sort of like community building, just don't yeah. grab anyone's dicks or like mm-hmm. fuck around like that. Yeah. If it's white guy, white guys. What love, does your penis feel like? They, they don't like that. Sick. They hate that shit. White guys love sick jokes. Dude. True. <laughs> twist it. We are twisted. We're absolutely fucking twisted. My brother and his friends used to beat the shit out of me, and then one time they it was funny. They beat the shit out of me in the living room, and then they took all my clothes off and pushed me out the front door and locked oh it. Wow. God. How old were you? Probably like twelve and very fat. Damn. Uh, <laughs> oh, fuck. Tim, did you live around a lot of perverts? With, uh, no, there was four retarded kids on my street growing oh, no. up. I Damn. might have been one of them. Yeah, too. I was gonna say <laughs> <laughs> four and a half retarded. You were looking kids. around like no. Yeah, I was. I was. I lived up in Shutter Island as a kid. <laughs> <laughs> my favorite retarded guy in the neighborhood story is Spades. It's anytime someone talks about it, I want to talk about it. It's he had a kid in his neighborhood that was mentally handicapped who yeah. ripped the basketball hoop out of the ground once. <laughs> They're playing basketball and he pulled the pole out of the ground. And, and, and you got to imagine Spade telling this and being like, dude, I saw him put a Nerf football through a pane glass window. <laughs> <laughs> the Whistlers. Dude, it's so fucking funny. Thinking of a fucking dude with Down syndrome putting a vortex through a glass window. He, he was working <laughs> Legendary. Year. Yeah, legendary. Legendary. <laughs> Would you take a shot at me? What'd you say? It's probably said, the worst rookie of the year. Oh, I thought you That's said Henry something Rome nasty Gardner. about me again. No, dude. I, would I don't never, say man. nasty stuff about you. No, I'm... God, it makes me sick sometimes. We're, on good terms. <laughs> We're not on good terms, dude. <laughs> now you wanted war? <laughs> Get my little fucking cold my... little penis in my penis. <laughs> <gasps> oh man, yeah, that was uh, that was just yesterday, actually. You want to know what I was listening to? It spooked yes, me. Yes, what the fuck got you? you never. Answered. I knew about this story, but then also I... that's pretty spooky. You withhold for that. You withheld for that long. What? You built the tension up. You oh, didn't, you were like, hmm. I, I asked you, and I saw you go, hmm. Should I reveal this? Hinter Kaifek, the farm. Ooh. What is that? <laughs> uh, I've definitely <laughs> talked about it before. Uh, it was a. It's a very unsolved old murder. <laughs> and you watched it on there? On yeah. this very well, TV? Well, I tried to, and every video on there sucked cock, so I just read the Wikipedia to my girlfriend at night. <gasps> what? What, I said, what time? What time? Sp- <laughs> literally the la- I literally finished telling the story and went... <laughs> <laughs> Is in bed. I was like, ah. "Do you want to know a very spooky story?" Do you like a grandpa from a scary movie? And she said, "She was like, yeah, sure." And I was like, "You won't well, wake up, idiot, because this is scary." <laughs> Matt, let me tell you something about this. Yeah, I want to hear about this. It's just a, a family lived in this farm. Mm-hmm. All right, so there's a widow. Her husband died in World War One. Oh, maybe. What? All right, maybe that's one theory, but. On record, he died in yeah, World War he's I. he's not there. He's a German. She had two children with him, I think, and then a newborn that was allegedly with her father. They were what? accused of incest. So there's a, a, a two-year-old <clears> baby <throat> that now the girl and her three kids live with her parents. And one and very just, happy father. <laughs> and a very loving 67-year-old father that's oh. little Joe Biden oh. kicking around. Really? And... <laughs> They just hired a new maid on the day that this happened. But leading up to it, this the old man noticed some some tracks in the snow leading from the woods into their house, into their barn, and not coming back out. He reported it to his friends. He was like, somebody, and there's no tracks leading out. So. What? And then they the, the previous maid quit because she said the house was haunted. They could hear footsteps in the attic. 
so many somebody was up in the attic so much that the guy went and checked and he didn't find anyone he, but they heard some footsteps he found a newspaper from munich they didn't even live there what he was like and he asked the postman he was like did you drop this and he was like no one orders that around here i think somebody's just living on your property the there's, a, there's a ghoul on your property that likes the news <laughs> The, Mu- the yeah. Munich Ooh. Times. <laughs> All right. Yeah. But then one day, uh, somebody or a group of people or ghoul mm-hmm. lured like the family one by one out into the barn and smashed all their heads with a pick. What? And then went into the house, smashed the two-year-old's head with the pick in his crib, Yikes. and then killed the maid in the house with the pick. And then... But, you know, this is in the 20s. No one's coming by the fucking house. Yeah. So one guy walked by the house like a few days later, noticed lights were on and the, the oven was burning. Somebody was somebody was clearly still living in there. Uh, and that's it. What? <laughs> <laughs> no, there's more, but it was like... It's a uh, spooky, abrupt ending. Yeah, very abrupt, I say. And then that's it. What? But um, <clears throat> no, no they one found a lot of spooky it? stuff. The, the investigators noticed somebody fed the animals for like three days and like it's gotta be that hus, there. it's gotta be that hus dude he came back and saw that boy and said then after oh, world war ii no. after world war ii some some german soldiers reported that one of the soviet general or one of the soviet guys in the prison camp yeah one of the guards claimed he was that guy and that he did it what? that it was the father that allegedly died in world war one he escaped to the soviet union killed his family then came back to kill his family. He's probably like, guys, I fuck you won't believe it. And he was like, what the fuck? My dad fucked my, my dad, wife? Her, her dad fucked her? I'm going to kill everybody. Oh, her pick. dad. Her dad fucked her. That's even worse, right? Yeah, it was insane. Yeah. Not definitely. your dad. <laughs> I mean, if you had to choose. If my dad <laughs> smashed my girlfriend, I'd be like, you thought I was dead. That's fair. Thanks, yeah. <laughs> Thanks for stoking you the flames. You did fl- the right thing. Thanks for stoking the flames. She needs this Gillis dick. <laughs> It's the only way. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, dude, which would you rather? I'm, I'm on you, dude. I, I like to not. That'd be disgusting. my pass away. The only one that's allowed to have his way with anybody I love is my father. My father, for sure, for sure. <laughs> <laughs> Ew! I tell you, my dad tried to read my book and he made it five pages in and went. Ew, and just closed it. He's like, That's fucking weird, man. He's like, I had to stop. That shit was weird. My dad, yeah, they're they're very negative entities. Fathers. Yeah. My dad, my dad called me this week and he was like, I got some new material for you when you come home. Perfect. Because the stuff you're doing now is a little stale. <laughs> I was like, all right, <laughs> you fucking so piece funny. of shit. That's so fucking funny, dude. What do you hit you with? Like four old street jokes? No, no I wish. True. He, didn't, he didn't give me. He left. He left it open ended. I got to go home to get my new material. True. <laughs> I'm doing it. <laughs> you should spread the rumor that Phil's been ghostwriting this whole Phil time. Phil ghostwrites all of it. Sit at that computer in the basement. <laughs> <laughs> God damn! How do you fucking? <laughs> exactly. there, there's been a printer in my parents' basement next to his computer that I think is not. It's a Bluetooth printer. <laughs> that's just a decade has sat there totally never used once it's, brand, it's still it's brand new it looks brand new because <laughs> <laughs> he has no idea and he keeps trying to send shit to the printer <laughs> that's so funny because that's the glasses come down for that operation glasses come that's down every single day <laughs> he's down there just <laughs> oh, <fuck. laughs> he's got a desktop down there just that so slow. I can't believe he still has a job. I know. <laughs> like they gotta fire him. No, dude. They made just, just, dude. The boomers made so much money that it's just like whatever. It's just they are truly just the bros hanging yeah. out. And that's how. That's all his. He's a salesman. All his partnerships are just other dudes. Yeah. None of them can operate computers. They have to. No. Tra- he has to drive to Syracuse. To be like, did you get that thing? <laughs> <laughs> like, there's no emails. He's got a Ford Taurus. He's got to take up to fucking Buffalo to be like, is everything good? No, like, yes. <laughs> but oh. now all the old dudes are getting they're getting ousted. So now it's young kids. Oh. Now it's my dad working with dudes like our age. How is it? He's got to be so fucking funny. I'd be so pumped if that was my like, one of my sales reps was Phil coming in and being like, let's go to the casino. Oh, it'd be so like, funny, dude. Yes. 
Yeah, that'd be fun. Phil's coming. We're getting fucking wrecked this weekend. Dude. Uh, it's the only way you can keep sales relationships alive. True. Because you go out. You, you have go, face to face. Fellas, let's go get fucked up. Let's have a good weekend. Oh, yeah. They're trying to outlaw that. Who? A lot of like companies are like, you can't go b- like business expenses. You can't write off that's like bullshit. you guys going to the bars anymore. That's bull. Yeah, that's bullshit. That's bull. Yeah, that's, that's, that's our whole economy is going to collapse. Our dude. whole economy is based on brewskis and handshakes and then one guy one of the guys fucking a stripper hopefully for the company that mm-hmm. you're selling to hopefully you honeypot them oh yeah and then you're like bro i'm not I, look i don't want i didn't want to have to pull this card but if you guys stop buying from us yeah like yeesh yikes maybe snap some pics i write a little postcard to your wife oh maybe i drive to your wife's house because <laughs> yeah. i don't know how to even send mail oh uh, that's the last thing you want to hear is a taurus crunching gravel dude <laughs> coming up your driveway like, Shit. it's <laughs> phil he's here <laughs> the angel of death <laughs> you hear the ford taurus crunching up the driveway <laughs> <laughs> you look at a car that's clearly just driven through the snow for 12 hours <laughs> from Harrisburg <laughs> to fucking Syracuse. Send you a P-mail, dude. Just Go jumping right to straight P-mail, dude. dude. dude just... oh. He gets out. You see him adjusting his belt for like a minute and a half. <laughs> <before he> goes... <laughs> you can visibly see a burp and a fart from, <laughs> from out there. <laughs> you just see a guy go... <laughs> <laughs> Just give like a two degree bend in his knees. <laughs> <laughs>